What is up guys, The Books here again. Hope everyone's had a good week. Uh, it's finally June, summer is officially here, and well, I suppose it might be winter depending on where you live. So winter or summer, the next season is officially here. And it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna be playing a variety of games, we're gonna be doing all kinds of videos, and I'm actually kind of excited. Sorry for not uploading any videos over the last couple of weeks. Uh, things appeared, I had to sort them out, but uh, things look pretty good right now, and uh, I've got a lot of good videos to upload. I think you're gonna enjoy it. And I'm also going to E3 Los Angeles, so uh, maybe I'll see you there. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be at E3 or in LA. If you see me, like seriously, uh, say hi, because no one's ever done that before. One person did, uh, yeah, one person did come up and say hi. One person, seven years. I, it's my fault, I never show myself anyway, no one knows what I look like. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna be enjoying Men of War Assault Squad 2 today. Uh, on a map made by Mighty Mapper 123 for a World War II scenario a long time ago. This time we're using it for a World War I scenario. This is the Siege of Aleppo in 1918 between Commonwealth forces and the Ottoman Empire. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for not uploading in a while. Look forward to a lot of content this month and hopefully for the rest of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll see you out there. All right, guys, let's get the battle started. Super excited to see if the Anzac soldiers here can uh, take this fortress from the hands of the Ottoman Empire and its soldiers. We've got a variety of guns and armor present on the battlefield today. It is the year of 1918. This is during the Siege of Aleppo. And we're on the map made by Mighty Mapper123, sent to me a very long time ago. I do believe over a year now, meant for a Tobruk battle. But it works quite well uh, here for this Middle Eastern battle as well. So we've got the Ottoman soldiers. This is the first time we're using Ottoman soldiers here playing the World War One mod. And you can tell uh, in 1918, they went from uh, the soft headgear, uh, which resembles sort of a turban. I don't want to sound ignorant, but it has a similar feel or look. Uh, I'm not sure what it's really made of, but they went to the steel helmet um, for greater protection. So they kind of remind me of German Africa Corps soldiers. We also have uh, the Mauser, which I do believe they were using, and a uh, machine gun that resembles a Bren. Um, but it is not a Bren. But it came before the Bren, for sure. Very interesting indeed. We also have some A7Vs here moving up on the right side of the fortress. Coming up on the flank. Right now contesting a, uh, a British tank. And I do believe uh, one of out of the two did manage to knock it out. Uh, one of the A7Vs are going to remain further back here as it has been destroyed. With its crew disembarking and well, most likely being shot down here out in the open. Well, this fort siege is underway. Sorry for not uploading any videos recently. You know, there's been a, um, um, a number of different reasons why... Nothing really to dig into. Um, all I know is it's June and time flies by. Sometimes it feels like I haven't been working for a couple of days and it turns out to be a couple of weeks. So that is the situation. We have a wave of Anzac soldiers storming the fortress here from the open. Let's have a closer look at their skins and their uniforms to be exact. Oh, wait, oh, here's a, here's a field gun being moved up to support the infantry. That is awesome. That is great to see. Now they're going to be shelling the fortress. Yeah, this gun is targeting an MG position back here covered by sandbags. And I think they just took it out. Yeah, that MG is knocked out. It is not going to be mowing down any more Anzac soldiers attacking the uh, fort from this angle. We've got a lot of Ottoman soldiers up here on the walls. So they're still holding it. We've got, a, we've got a few mortars back here opening up as well. And one of the A7Vs is going to kind of use the road outside the fortress 
to move around using its machine guns to, to gun down Anzac soldiers trying to get closer to the fort. Uh, we'll see if we can have any uh, Anzac field guns here to, to knock out this tank before it does too much damage. But we will see how long this tank survives. I'm sort of surprised it did outlive this uh, this British tank back here. Not entirely sure of what mark this is or the, the exact uh, name of it. But it is, a, it's, it is a hefty piece. So this is some 1918 equipment we're, we're enjoying here today. Which is very exciting indeed. Oh, that front gun is going to fire at some of the infantry back here as well. So right now the Anzac soldiers are not being given a break here by the Ottomans. They are keeping the uh, the soldiers at bay. The attackers are being kept at quite a distance here. Which is going to allow the Ottoman mortars and artillery to do as much damage as possible to the infantry. But this is going to be a very long battle. So I'm very excited to see who's going to come out on top and claim a victory in today's battle. So for those of you who are interested in following me on Instagram, I'm going to be more active this summer. Also on Snapchat, I plan on finding out how to like see all the people that you have as a contact. Like I haven't added them or I haven't really added any one of you guys, but I want to so that you guys can see me on the map and kind of like stalk me, I suppose. It'd be funny, honestly. Uh, it's nothing I'm worried about. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not really worried about any like acid attacks and stuff like that being shanked or gunned down in the streets. But it'd be a way to, it'd be a way to go for sure. <laughs> but anyway, nothing I'm really worried about. It'd just be fun to see if you guys would be in, around me and maybe you'd come up and say hi or something. I'm gonna be uh, going to E3 this year, so in about a week from now, I'm going to be. Uh, in Los Angeles for a week. I know I have a lot of viewers out in California. Actually, it is my number one US state, which also makes it my number one geographical location in terms of viewers. So uh, shout out to California. We've got Texas on number two, followed up by like the United Kingdom and a bunch of other European countries. Yeah, this uh, A7V is still roaming. It is still moving. Let's see if this ANSAC field gun back here can knock it out. They've, uh, they're aiming for it. Oh, that one missed. They're going to have to reload quickly. They have to be careful so they don't take any uh, mortar fire or direct, like, artillery hits here by the, the Ottomans. Oh, they're... It's not quite in range yet. It is in range, but it's covered by the, the hill. And there's a few rocks in front of it as well. Oh, it's going to stop? Oh, no, it's going to keep moving. Oh, wait, wait. Will they? No, no, no. They're not going to swap target. Oh, they're firing third shell, and it is a miss again. Fourth one is being loaded up. The infantry doesn't dare to get go closer. They're taking cover here behind the rocks and everything. One more shot. Make it count, boys. Oh, it missed. The fifth one for sure must connect with the tank, or that tank will continue roaming the field, and it'll be very hard for the Anzac soldiers. That's a direct side hit. And the tank is going to come to a halt. The infantry is going to dis disband, or not disband. They're going to dismount. I hope they're still in service for the Ottomans. Otherwise, if they were disbanded, that'd be a unfortunate. Yeah, that tank is going to be knocked out entirely. We see some smoke coming out of it. And uh, another fresh wave of Anzac soldiers. A whole new company is being deployed. And those uh, tank crewmen out here are going to be just in a shitty position. In a shitty spot. Yeah, they're going to be they're gonna be running it back here. Artillery is still shelling the walls. We still have Ottomans up here firing back. It is a cool battle for sure. Oh, it's just good to be back, boys. It's good to be back. So, on Snapchat, the username is Diplexeated. Same on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to connect with me, I'm going to be more open. I'm going to be more out there. Ouchia, ouchia. And, uh, you know. Oh, and just moments afterwards, the, the, the field gun is down. The field gun is down, but it did knock out the tank. It did do the job it had to do. More Ottoman reinforcements are rushing out here. So they're coming from the fort. More fort garrison soldiers are trying to crew or man the outside positions here. What a struggle. No winner can be uh, determined yet, for sure. Oh, that was my... Um that was my um, phone. I thought it was the, I heard a bling and I was like, that does not sound like a, like an Ottoman whistle or a, uh, or like a, a whistle of any kind. 
It just had a pling to it. I'm like, is someone walking around with like bells? Plinging, plinging bells or something? Had to be a, had to be an, an interesting field equipment. Yeah, for sure. So we've got, we've got Ottomans like rushing out. I think they're really trying to take the fight to the Anzac soldiers out on the field. I'm not sure how clever it is. They're going to be outnumbered now as more reinforcements come in. But look at this field. This approach is just butchered. And right now, uh, the Anzac soldiers lack the artillery support they need to kind of keep the Ottomans inside the fortress. We do have mortars back here. I think they're working at full effect. Yeah, these mortars are going to be shelling the Ottomans as, as much as possible. Um, so let's do this for the sake of the battle. Uh, I'm going to do something for both teams here that will make things more interesting. We're going to crew this machine gun. And we're also going to crew this mortar. So that's just something fresh. Keep the battle a little more alive. We're going to see it here a few more guns go off. And we're going to do the same thing for the Ottomans. They have a machine gun here in a nice position. And it's a shame to let it just sit there. So we're going to crew that one as well and just keep the battle going. It's hard to make the AI do that automatically. As a matter of fact, if someone was to make a mod, it would be that the AI crews... Not vehicles, but like static weapons that are uncrewed. Like, that would be the most insane feature. And it would just keep battles much more alive. So we've got this, uh, I believe it's a German or Austrian machine gun. I believe that's a German machine gun. The Ottomans used mainly German equipment, I suppose. I mean, I mean it's German stuff, you know. Who doesn't want German equipment, right? So that's, that's kind of the deal over there. Um, I'm sure there were Ottoman-produced weapons as well, of course. I mean, the Ottoman Empire was an empire. I mean, they had a lot of resources, I suppose. I'm not going to speak too much on it. Uh, I don't think the Ottomans, um, by the sort of end of World War One, they weren't really at their, their prime in terms of imperial s status. But yeah, um, they're still holding the right side of the fortress here quite confidently. More infantry is rushing in now. Like, they're getting closer, and I think the Ottomans are now being kept inside the fortress, but they're still holding the sandbags out here. One artillery piece is still active, and it is going to continue shelling the uh, the Anzac soldiers. More mortars going down as well. I think we're going to be looking to, to receive some, perhaps... Uh, I mean, this is Aleppo, so Aleppo's... I'm going to have to look up, the look up on the map, but I don't think it is too close to the... I mean, I keep, like, thinking about things, and then I'm not sure... When, no, Aleppo is not the coastal city at all. I was thinking about something else. Sometimes you just do. No, a, 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 uh, <laughs> a, um, a coastal bombardment or like a, a naval bombardment would probably not reach into Aleppo. It's very far inland. Uh, so yeah, I don't think shells would be that accurate. So perhaps we're looking at a, an air bombardment, uh, air support. Close air support, battlefield one style, you know, all the planes flying around in the desert. I quite liked th that one map in Battlefield 1 where you had the Brits versus the, the Ottomans. There were a few flags in the center and there were a few like mountains and there was a variety of vehicles and forces and airplanes. Yeah, the airplanes in Battlefield 1 were re very cool. They were very cool in my opinion. Yeah, they were uh, very cool. And, uh, they worked quite well. I think they worked really well because of the sort of the pace. I mean, they're, they're not exactly jets. I think jets in Battlefield 3 and 4 are almost a little too fast for the size of the map. Helicopters work great, but the jets were... I, I don't know. I think they felt a little, like, squeezed in there, so to speak. Um, and, it's a, and it's an idea or a, a choice that I respect a lot when it comes to post-scriptum that I'm going to be playing more of soon. And the post-scriptum developers have said uh, no, like, uh, crewable or flyable aircrafts, because it's simply not. The maps, even though they're huge, they're not big enough for the dogfights they want to recreate. So, that is uh, something I respect. But yeah, we might see some uh, Commonwealth air support soon. We do have a few mortars and positions still standing, and the Anzac artillery has not managed to knock them out yet. And they're stopping Anzac infantry from getting closer right now. I think it is is—it is definitely the artillery keeping the infantry at bay here. Uh, infantry on the walls and, you know, firepower in general is not that great. The Ottoman mortars and artillery are definitely keeping the Anzac at bay here. Do we have any soldiers nearby? Yes, we do have one guy here that we can... He's dead, so we're not gonna... 
I think we're gonna have to give up the idea of this machine gun being alive or being crewed for any longer time since it's uh, it's just uh, it's in a very it's in a good spot, but it's also in a very deadly spot. It's got a lot of ANSAC guns facing towards it, so we're starting to cross the road now. We're getting closer on this side. Not that many Ottoman guns are are, are focused, so um, this is somewhere where the uh, ANSAC soldiers are going to be able to get close up onto the fort, and soon we're going to be storming the breaches. This is going to be a long battle. For sure. How's it looking on this side? Well, we have a few more soldiers moving down here. They're taking so much fire. There, there's a gun here that can definitely be crewed. We'll see how long he can stay alive. No, he's going to be shot down. So that is worth the try. It is worth the try for the sake of the Ottomans, but it's not going to work. More artillery raining down. We have more troops moving up here as well. These mortars, I'm not sure if they're still really active. I think they're trying to target... Infantry up here on the left side. So Anzac mortars are still active The the artillery like focus on this area is just insane The soldiers are they're not giving a break the Anzacs can oh, but look at that some return artillery fire That is going to do good. Look at the the destruction there beautiful a few trees collapsed this wall has collapsed and That actually knocked out two uh, two Ottoman mortars. And that is a very good hit so that is going to allow these soldiers to get closer we have more Ottoman soldiers inside. Right now, they're not really outside the fortress perimeter. They're, they're keeping themselves inside. This gun is still active. It is going to be uh, vital to knock it out because it is killing a lot of Anzac soldiers moving up to the fort itself. Other than that, right now, the Ottomans are probably trying to fortify their inner holdings here. And they're trying to, to uh, not dig in, but they're trying to entrench themselves. Let's move up and keep ourselves at a bit of a distance here. Let's enjoy this fort while I get some water. Water. You guys can uh, can enjoy. Enjoy the view, all right? I'll be back in just a minute. And I am back. So, the alternative to me not getting water is me talking less, but it's something I'm going to have a hard time controlling. Okay, so Anzac soldiers are finally starting to storm up the slope now. There's a breach here that um, Royal Artillery has made. Oh, shot down there. So, oh, wow, 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 wow. Was that a friendly fire from the machine gun, or was that a... An Anzac rifleman's doing. Not sure, but right now they're getting really close. Oh, artillery hitting the top of the wall there. Grenades are being thrown over. This is where the real stuff begins. Oh, shit! Uh, I think an ammo depot was just hit by uh, either a mortar. I think so. Or something just malfunctioned here. But that is a lot of smoke. Definitely, for sure, something of that caliber. Oh boy, that knocked out the whole area, and that mortar is gone, along with all the infantry nearby. So the an Ooh, big explosions back here too. Interesting. This is just a very dynamic battle. Alright, so for the sake... Ooh, this machine gun is still active too. Let's do something fun, okay? Because I like doing fun things. Who doesn't like doing fun things? Let's move up the ANSAC mortars to like here. To the next wall. Okay, so of course, I'm doing that and you're thinking, oh no, the Ottomans are gonna, you know, receive more mortar fire. Who doesn't like mortar fire, right? Let's do something for the Ottomans as well. We can definitely do something for the Ottomans. Is this gun still crewable? It looks destroyed, but maybe they can repair it. It is broken, but we can fix it. No, we cannot. Maybe we can, who knows. Um, if, as a matter of fact, I do well for all sides. It cannot be repaired. Okay, well then, so be it. Trust me. Okay. Right, guys. This is not a uh, field expedition. You guys are not that close mortar support. I mean, your, your artillery support and all that, but you're not that close. So just just, just, just uh, stay there, okay? Stay there and do your, do your work, okay? You moved a little too close to the enemy fire, but uh, suit yourself. Suit yourself. 
That's going to spice up the battle a little bit. The Ottomans are in such a firm hold of the fortress. The Anzac troops are going to need any help they can get. So if I can spot any situation where I can aid the, the Ottomans in a similar way, trust me, I will. I like keeping these battles balanced. But just, just because I help a team every now and then doesn't mean that the battle isn't, you know, running itself. But that doesn't mean that the battle isn't still balanced. I, I still think it's more important to make it interesting and fun rather than just allow, allowing the AI to do just absolutely everything. Because they do 99.9% .9 of the stuff here anyway. Look at the Ottomans still holding the breach here. We have a, uh, an Anzac soldier with a hand grenade. Is he going to throw that? No, he's going to run in and join the rest of the, 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 the dead soldiers here by the breach. The Ottomans are in a really firm grip of this. I'm not sure how the Anzac soldiers are going to deal with this. Grenades are still being thrown outside the walls. Big explosions on this side. Oh, but the Anzac soldiers are starting to enter now. Fighting here by the breach. Escalates. Will we see some bayonets, perhaps? Two soldiers staring each other down. fight outside here on the left flank still continues. We've got Anzac soldiers moving up on the, the right side of the fort, seen from the Ottoman point of view. And we've got a lot of Ottoman soldiers down here, like city garrison is now arriving. More troops are reinforcing, and we have machine guns and artillery guns back here to support the Ottoman claim of this side of the fort. So reinforcements are going to continue pouring in, and the battle for the fort, the battle for the fort is going to be a constant struggle here for both sides. A lot of Anzac soldiers are now gathering up here by the two entrances to the fort on this side, on the left side of the fort. Grenades are being traded back and forth. And there is just literally stacks of bodies everywhere here. The Anzacs are they are trying to get closer. Look, we got some rifle fire being fired into the fort. Machine guns, Ottoman machine guns still, you know, uh, focusing on that entrance. The Anzac soldiers here are doing what they can. They're going to have to mass up some numbers to really try and storm. Oh, yeah, they're, they're trying. They need they need that machine gun to reload. There we go. It's reloading. Let's get some return fire up on there. Yeah, so numbers are definitely here. And they're, they're, they're I mean, they're, they're progressing. This is, this is definitely going in the right direction. Okay, Anzac soldiers are definitely starting to get closer now. There's a lot of Ottoman guns here on the ground. So that machine gunner, though, that Lewis gunner is just... Wow. Doing his best, for sure. We still have a few soldiers on top there by the flag doing what they can. Grenades are being thrown back and forth. Trees are going to be collapsing. Buildings will be collapsing, too. And so will men. Men will collapse. This is a, uh, a struggle. A struggle worth, uh, worth defining. With great words. Okay, so we've had, we have the few first... Uh, the first couple of soldiers are through on this side. This guy's even... In a position where he's not taking fire. Well, he is actually. So he's going to sit down, patch up, possibly even die by a hand grenade. Rest in peace. Oh, he knocked himself out on the door frame. That happens too. But more Anzac soldiers are storming the fort over on this side. What do we got? Troops still trying to make their way in. We have an officer out here. He's, he's like holding it down with his pistol. That's a Mauser. I think that's a, sort of like a C-96 of some sort. Yeah, that looks like a C-96. Or, or a variant of it. I'm not sure if it has a different word. Oh, Melly! Look at that! He knocked him out! He knocked him out! This officer is still on his rampage. Killed by a mortar, though, I think. Yeah. Death comes for everyone. More artillery back and forth here. We're not sure who's firing, but it's killing both sides. And the Ottomans are still holding the fort. They still have troops inside the fort. The, the, uh, the Anzacs are not done yet. It doesn't look like the numbers are starting to dwindle a little bit. I mean, everyone's pretty much stacked outside, but are they gonna, going to receive more reinforcements from Battalion HQ? Thousands of soldiers have fought in these minutes. What are we looking at? 15, 20 minutes soon. Thousands of soldiers have fought and died. And more Anzac troops are now storming the fortress. Their, their goal is to get inside. And I think we can claim now that the, uh, the, An the Australians are now in control of the fortress. They're going to be raising the, uh, the flags soon. 
various flags, I suppose an Australian flag, a New Zealand flag, British flag, maybe a Swedish flag for, just for the Plex or something, I don't know. <laughs> but probably not. There's one flag, there's one flag pull for each of the, the three aforementioned countries. And that is, that is what counts. There's still Ottoman soldiers up on the wall, though. I think they might try and defeat him with grenades. No, but a few gunshots are going to do the trick. The Anzac soldiers are now in control of the fortress. But that does give them a victory over today's battle. But it doesn't mean the struggle is over yet. Look at the Ottoman positions down below. We've got machine gunners, artillery, and all kinds holding the, uh, the entrance to the city. Stones collapsing, rocks collapsing. Beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Guys, I think we're going to call this one a uh, a done deal. We're going to allow them to continue fighting. But the battle for the fort is over. The Ansac soldiers can just barely claim victory here today. Just barely. They just barely made it. The last platoon is now storming in here to secure the fortress. But the Ansacs are victorious. The war ain't over. Hope you guys enjoyed today's battle. This is the fort. Let's have a look at casualties. Oh well. <laughs> let's let's do ANSAC casualties in uh, in uh, yellow and Ottoman casualties in red. Oh my. Oh my oh my. What a devastating battle for both sides. This fort doesn't look anything like what it did at the start. Neither does the map itself. It has been a gruesome battle. But very World War One, awesome stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. I look forward to seeing you guys soon again in another video. I've got more squad ops on the way. I've got more Men of War Soul Squad 2 on the way. I've got a vlog on the way too. I want to do a summer thing. We'll see how the shit turns out. And I'll see you guys soon again. Bye.